Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Max. Welcome back to another show, another episode, another little podcast that we got going on here. It is the time to talk has come. We are here. We are back. Episode number three. So, yeah. Anyways. We got our sub topic of the day today is content, and then our main topic is the NFL season. Today, the day that I'm recording is it is Wednesday, um, and then so tomorrow, which uh, Thursday, September seventh, um, the NFL season starts. So we're gonna do a quick little like we're gonna do like a tier list video, kind of like seeing like uh, my prediction, like the records for this uh, 2023, 2024 NFL season. Super, super exciting. So that's kind of what we got going on. Um, the whole subtopic thing, the content. Um, just kind of going to discuss like... <clears throat> we're just kind of going to discuss like the content right now and stuff. What's going on in the channel and stuff. Just super quick. Just kind of catch up. And yeah. Let's get right into it, shall we? Um... So I just kind of talk about the, the the channel and what's up. It's what's going on with the channel. Um, we are doing pretty pretty well. I'm about two subscribers away from the 500 mark. Um, and one step closer to 1K. About halfway there. Got two more subscribers. So if you guys want to do it, this video is sponsored by the sub button. So if you do want to give some love to our sponsor, just hit the subscribe button. Appreciate it. All right. Content, 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 content. Obviously, recently I've kind of like stepped away from like, kind of stepped away from um, all like the anime and stuff reactions. I've kind of just done like sports and like, I've still done some music and then just kind of like, uh, just kind of like a random reactions like to like bad drivers and stuff. Um, like Theo Vaughn. Uh, the last time we uploaded a uh, TTTT was February 11th, 2023. Was the last episode of this little podcast thing we got going on. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it's like things have been looking pretty, pretty good so far on the channel. I've kind of stepped away from like longer videos as well because like my videos used to go for like 44 minutes up to like an hour so some of the reactions especially to like the um the anime and stuff so we have stepped away from that a little bit i just kind of want to do what kind of like i like and i know that it doesn't get as many views as like the anime content did or whatever but um i don't know i just kind of like the only way for me to stay on this kind of platform and kind of like do this which i love doing is to do something that things that i love that kind of interest me um like anime and stuff it's not really my cup of tea i guess you can say so um you know but yeah that's pretty much in the content very very short video for like the content and kind of what i'm going to put out just kind of like what i like some random little stuff and if it doesn't do well oh well i'm doing this for fun um so yeah let's get into this nfl season the main topic of today's video um obviously um for those who don't know i am a giants fan uh playing the cowboys on sunday at eight o'clock and um i'm kind of going to hear my thoughts on <clears throat> on that so let me just switch the scene real quick all right Let's get right into it. Okay. So first team, we got the San Fran, the Niners. To be honest, I th I mean, they're, def they're definitely going to be uh, playoff contenders 100%. Um, I don't think they're going to go flawless. Right now, I'm kind of leaning like towards just... To zero to three. No, I'm joking. Um, I don't know. I think, I don't think they're going to go flawless. 
but I think that 13 to 16 wins is very, very possible. I can see them even getting like 12. But I I'm gonna I'm gonna lock them into 13 to 16 wins. I don't think they're gonna get 16. I don't think they're gonna get 15 or 14, but I think 13 is very, very possible. Um like their I mean their their offense is just you know, it's just it's 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 real good. We got Brock, um, Purdy, we got McCaffrey, Debo. So I mean, can we got Kittle? You know, with it, like the offense is is really really good. The QB situation is still questionable in my mind. Um, I don't know how Purdy's gonna do, um, or what that situation is gonna be like in San Francisco, but. Which is kind of making me put him down here. We're going to go 12 wins for the Niners. I think they're going to get at least 12 wins. Maybe 13. But that's as high as I'm going to put them for now. Um, but, they're, but they're at the top of this section of the list. We got Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, Trevor Lawrence playing really, really good last season. Um, they went to the playoffs last season. Do I think that they are? I think they're gonna get. I think they're gonna get like a nine, nine to ten wins. I think they're gonna go back into the playoffs. Um. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put them at the nine, nine to ten, maybe eleven wins. I think the Jags are gonna do very, very well. Um. Either that or they're going to have a terrible year. So, but um, I think they're going to get at least 10 wins. So, I'm going to stick them over here. Up next, we got the Tennessee Titans. Uh, that's it. That, I don't know. I don't. They're definitely not. They're not up here. I feel like four to seven wins is kind of where I can see them. And that's exactly where we're going to put them. I don't think, I think they're going to go max seven wins. I don't think they're going to go to the eight, nine, or 10, or 11, 12. But I think four to seven wins is, is uh, the most likely outcome for the Titans. Because, I mean, what? It's just their QB situation is, is who is their QB right now? It's, um,. Is it still Tannehill? We're gonna look this up, guys. Let's see. I for I forgot that Will Levis exists. Um, so is Will Levis gonna start? Probably. But Will Levis, I mean, I don't, I don't see him. Doing super super well. They got D uh, Derrick Henry, um, in D Hop, I believe. But I don't know. I, I don't see what levels doing very well. Well, Derrick Henry's probably gonna do pretty well, um, unless he gets injured, um, and they'll be unfortunate. But I don't think they're gonna go to the playoffs. So four to seven wins is like, I think the most I can give them. Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl winners. 2023 Super Bowl winners. Do I think they're going to go flawless? Probably not, but I think they're going to be at the top again. I mean, they're just having such a fantastic, fantastic years. So, I I mean, 13 to 16 wins. I, I think they can get 14, 14 wins. 13 to 14 wins. They're definitely better than San Fran, Jacksonville, and the Titans. So, I mean, not very much to say. The Mahomes, Kelsey. I mean, the Kadarius Tony, and Andy Reid is just an incredible coach. So, I don't know. The running back situation is questionable to me. Um, but I, th I think I think this is a good spot for them. 
I don't think they're going to go flawless. So I think I want to stick him here. We got the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, they go down there. Moving on to the Cardinals. All right. For real, though, I mean, I don't think they're going to go flawless. Their team is looking really, really stacked. But knowing the Eagles are going to choke in the Super Bowl. Um, they should have won against the Chiefs. I think they had a better, better team. I think they had a better team overall. And right now, I mean, their team is looking real, real good. Since I'm a Giants fan, you know, they're in our division. And it's so I'm, uh, definitely my uh, not a good team. But I think they're going to go 13 or 16 wins. I mean, it's just their offense and their defense. Is, and then they got just their coaching is really, I don't know. I mean, there's not much to say. It's the Eagles right now. Um, so... Cardinals, definitely at the bottom. I don't think they're gonna do well. I think zero to three wins. They, I mean, they might even go like the reverse, flawless. You know, they're gonna go zero and seventeen. You know, <laughs> that's a possibility. I mean, the team's not looking very good. They, they don't look good. They don't look great. I can't see them doing very well, um, or even like. Good. It, it yeah. I'm I'm gonna stick him down there. I mean, same as the Falcons, but they got the Bijan Robinson dude out of the draft. I don't see them doing um, good. So what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? I'm going to give them four to five wins. That's what I'm going to do. Because I don't think they're going to go 0 and 3, like 0, 0, 1 or... I think they're going to go at least four or five wins. Maybe even six. But definitely not as low as the Cardinals level. We got Baltimore Ravens. I like the Ravens. I think they're going to do really, really well. Um, uh, Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, they uh, signed OBJ this year. I mean, I think the offense is looking very, very promising. Um, I do think they're they're going to go in to the playoffs. Um, I don't think they're going to win. I don't think they're going to go to the Super Bowl, but I think they are going to go to the playoffs. Um, I can see them going. I can see them getting 11, 11 wins, 10, 11 wins. Um, now that I'm looking at this having San Fran there with the Ravens and the Jags doesn't look very good to me yeah I'm, I'm going to move them up I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the Niners up with the Chiefs and the Eagles 13 wins is definitely possible for them even 14 so I think this is a better spot for them. Next, we got the Buffalo Bills. Huh. I think the Bills are going to do well again. I think they're going to go into the playoffs again. I think they're going to choke again. And they're not going to go to the Super Bowl so I'm going to leave them still up here um, I'm, I'm even thinking about like 12 wins but I think 13 to 16 is the more fitting spot for them they're a really really good team so it just works okay next we got the Carolina Panthers I'm going to be honest. I think they're going to get seven wins. I don't think they're going to do very well. At least this first year. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think seven looks good for them. I don't. I don't see them doing very well. Yeah, 
Seven wins. I can't see them even getting eight. Maybe eight, but I think seven is where they're going to land. I mean, the Panthers are just a tricky team. I mean, I don't, I don't know. The QB situation, is the rookie going to perform very well in the actual regular season? We're going to have to see. Chicago. I think Chicago is going to, I think, I think Chicago is going to go, I'm going to give them nine wins, nine to 10 wins. I don't think they're going to go past 10 wins, but I mean, yeah, 10 wins. I can't see them. I, I don't. The Bears are definitely not on this level up here. I think they're down here with the Ravens and the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm going to keep them. We got the Bengals next. Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. Once again, they're going to go to the playoffs. I don't think they're going to go to the Super Bowl. When is Joe Burrow coming back from injury? Because I know he got injured. If Joe Burrow comes back, uh, if he doesn't take too long, um, if he heals fast, which lets we hope, you know, injury is not good. Hopefully he does. I think they're up here. But if he's injured for a little while, they're like down here. Jabra is a crucial part to the team. Um, so, but I'll, 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 for now, we're going to assume that he's going to heal well. He's going to start off the season. He's going to do well. I think they can get 14 wins. 13, 14 wins easy. Um, very good offense. So, they just got to work on their O-line. And um, they're going to do well. Up next, we got the Browns. I don't think the Browns are going to do very well. I have a feeling they're going to go four to seven wins down in this category. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, just their whole situation is just, I don't know. This is, I don't think the Browns are going to go anywhere near the Super Bowl for like the next like 10 years, like maybe even more. They got to they, they got to do something. They got to rebuild their whole their whole team. Next we got the Cowboys, obviously in the Giants division as well. Um Dak very questionable. Obviously their defense is really really good. They got on their offense they got um Pollard as the running back this year. They got rid of Zeke Six in the Patriots now. Dax questionable. Um, CD is. I think CD is going to do very well, um, especially for Sunday's game. He's definitely going to get a touchdown. But the Dax situation is very questionable. I think they're going. I think they're going to go twelve or eleven wins. I don't think they're going to go anywhere near like KC so I think like the definitely at the top of all these four teams I think they're going to get 11 12 wins but nothing more than that um Broncos country let's ride flawless get flawless season for the Broncos I mean Russell Wilson is going to do so so good um that he's going to he's going to ride the the Broncos down to the bottom of this tier list um they're going to have a rough year. I mean, I think two to three wins max. And, yeah, I mean, I don't <laughs> I don't see them doing very well. <laughs> They're not going to do good at all, as a matter of fact. Lions. Kicking it off against the Chiefs tomorrow night. Um, 
Lions are looking real, real good. I, I'm going to be honest. I think they're going to do very well. I think they're going to sneak into the playoffs this um, year. I'm predicting 11 wins for them. 10 or 11 wins. I know it sounds crazy, but I mean, the coaching, good. And that's a lot. You know, th these bottom teams, coaching is... Okay. Up here, coaching, great. This, I feel like the coaching lines up here, but I think they're going to go 11 wins. Um, last year, they almost went into the playoffs, almost snuck in. I think this year they're going to get to the playoffs. I would love to see a Lions Super Bowl. <laughs> um, but that's not going to happen this uh, year. But I believe in the next couple of years, definitely, definitely a strong possibility. Got the Packers. Man, listen, the Packers. I'm sorry to all the Packers fans out there. You ain't doing good. Maybe three, four wins max. They just don't have anything. Except what Jair Alexander in defense. So. Offense is alright. But I don't see them. Like a couple years ago when Aaron Rodgers was there. Devontae. They're, like they're, they're up here. Or at, at least like 12 wins. But now. I'm going I'm to put them right here. I think they get 4 wins. 4 or 5 wins. But that's max. 0-3 oh, is like. Is like the Texans, you know. I don't think the Texans are going to do very well. Um, they haven't been doing well. Rough, rough. Just, it just, it's a rough time down there in Houston. And they got to work something out because it's just, it's not working. Some's not working. Colts. Anthony Richardson, starting QB, named QB one for this season. Um, I think the Colts are going to at least get 7 wins. I don't think they're going to go to 8 or 12. Maybe 8. Maybe 8. But I think they're going to get 7. Um, it's Anthony's... It's Richardson's first year. I think he needs to settle in a little bit. Get used to. Uh, uh, the regular season is a lot different than the preseason. Um, so we just, I'm just going to have to see. The, like uh, the Saturday and Sunday games... I'm just going to have to see um, how these rookies play. Because obviously regular season games, there's a lot more talent. It's a lot harder. Um, more pressure. So I'm going to put him down here. Rams. That's Tensa Bennett. And he looked really good in the preseason. Tensa Bennett looked really, really good. They still got Cooper Cup. If he doesn't get injured. Um, again... I think because Aaron Donald is still there, hasn't retired yet. I think I think they can get eight wins, the Rams. They had a rough, rough year last season. Very, very rough. But I think they can get um, at least eight wins. I can see them having a better record than the teams at the four and seven. And I might be a little delusional, but that's just my opinion. I think... Um, the way that I saw Stetson Bennett play, um, I think he can do a lot for the team. Um, I think they're going to try him out and see if they want to, obviously Stafford is on the team. Um, so I think Stafford is going to be QB1, but I think Stetson Bennett will come into the game at some point. And win over the position. Vikings, the biggest fraud team in the league. Um, Kirk, I don't believe in Kirk. I'm gonna be honest. I think they're still gonna do. I think they're gonna at least get ten wins, ten or eleven wins. Um, but I mean, they're just. It's like what JJ. Their whole team is like their whole offense is Justin Jefferson. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> they lost Dalvin Cook. So, I mean, I don't know. I think they're going to get 10, maybe 11 wins. But I'll, I'll, I'll put them up here. I'll put them up here. Patriots. I mean, what, Zeke? They just signed Zeke. I don't know. The QB situation is very, very questionable. They're not going to go to the playoffs, I don't think. No questions. I think seven. Eight wins. Now, these are all like possibilities. I, I don't mean like, yes, the Broncos. Oh, yes, the Texans or the Broncos are probably probably going to get like four wins or whatever. But, I mean, this is just like a probably not, you know, kind of list. Like, these teams in the 8 to 12 wins, maybe, like, a couple of them maybe go under, you know, 8. This is all just a guesstimate, you know? Saints, 4 to 7. Not much to say there. Jets, Aaron Rodgers, Dalvin Cook. Really, really, really good defense. I definitely, I definitely think that the Jets are going to go to the Super Bowl. Not the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think they're definitely going to go to the playoffs. I don't think they're going to win the playoffs. But I'm putting them up here. Anywhere from 8 to 12 wins. 100%. Raiders. Tough. Tough team to be a fan of. Um... They're definitely going to get at least four, four to seven. But I don't know. I'm sorry, Raiders fans, but I don't I don't see anything happening there this season. Steelers. Kenny Pickett looking real good in the preseason. So I think eight to twelve wins is definitely possible. Maybe not the double digits, but eight or nine. Maybe even ten. Very, very, very possible. Buccaneers, four to seven wins, not much to say there. I mean Mike Evans. Leonard Fournette is still on there, but I don't see them. Maybe Baker will do good. But I don't know. We'll have we'll we'll just have to see. Tampa's not looking very, very uh, promising, but I think four to seven wins is what they're going to get. But we'll see. Maybe Baker Mayfield will not disappoint. Maybe he'll shock everybody. Um, and and get him into the playoffs. But it just, I don't know. We're going to have to see. Chargers. I think they're going to go third. I think they're going to get 13 wins this season i think they're up here um just a herbert incredible incredible qb their their defense looks good um their offense looks pretty good but i definitely don't think they're gonna go i think they're gonna get 13 i think that's gonna be the most um but we're just gonna have to see seahawks 8 to 12 wins not much to say there i don't I don't see them. They're not up here. Geno Smith had one good comeback year. We're going to have to see how he does this year. I mean, he can just... He, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Dolphins.
You see Tua, questionable. Another concussion can end his whole NFL career. I mean, their defense is good, though. They're like, and their offense is... They got Tyreek. Waddle. If all the players heal, no injury. If Tua has a good season and doesn't get injured... I think they can be looking at 13 to 16 wins. If the opposite happens, 8-12 is definitely the spot for them. But for now, I'm going to put them up there. I'm gonna, we're going to hope that everything goes well. And they're definitely one of the top teams. The Washington Commanders. I mean... I think they're going to get 8 to 12 wins. Not, I mean, obviously, once again, in the Giants division. They're definitely going to be bottom of our division. Um, but, like, last season, I mean, they were... They were all right. It wasn't anything special. I can see them even getting 7. But I think they're going to get nine, eight or nine um, wins, 100%. Now the New York Football Giants. My team. I mean, there's just not much to say. F phenomenal coaching. Brian Dable, arguably one of the best coaches in the league. Picked up Darren Waller. All-star, tight end. We got one of the best running backs in the league, Saquon Barkley. Wide receivers, <sighs> questionable, definitely don't have a good wide receiver core, but from what I saw in the preseason, if Sterling Shepard stays healthy, I think the New York Giants could have a better, better year than last year. Daniel Jones, a little overpaid, yes. Maybe even a lot, but I mean, I think he's, I think this season he's going to prove himself that he is a higher level QB. Um, he's number one in the red zone. I mean, Defense wise, I think corners very good. Um, we got Dexter Lawrence, all right, incredible player. He will get through that line and he will get the QB. Kayvon Thibodeau, just excellent, excellent, excellent defense. The O line, <sighs> Andrew Thomas kind of carries it. But I mean, <sighs> we need Evan Neal to do good. He's been kind of rough. He got drafted and he's been playing very rough. So, I mean, we need him to step up. Realistically, I don't think the judge can go flawless. People think, people think that they're only going to get nine wins. You guys are funny if you think they're only going to get nine. I think at least 10 or 11 wins for the Giants um, this year. And yeah, there's not much to say. 
you can disagree all you want. Um, obviously, I'm gonna there's there's gonna be a little bias. Obviously, it's my it's my favorite team, so there will be a little bias. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. So yeah, this will wrap up the episode of T T T T. The time to talk is now over. Comment down below any other topics you'd like me to uh, comment on, talk about. Um, maybe once this kind of starts popping, um, if it does ever, we could do like a, I can do like a episode with like a viewer, um, kind of hop on the Discord and just kind of talk, talk about some topics, um, make it fun and engaging. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a great episode. I will see you in the next one. Peace.